Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. Today we're doing a tutorial video on two digit by two digit multiplication. This is worksheet A for mathdrills.com. I like using these worksheets. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Our first problem here, we have 14 times 83. Now, what we're gonna kind of realize here is 83 is essentially three plus 80. That equals 83. So really what we can do here is we can do two different multiplications problem. We can do 14 times 3 and 14 times 80, and then we add the 2 together. That's the entire principle of multiplying two-digit by two-digit multiplication. Most students have a pretty easy time with something like this, so let's go ahead and break down how we're going to do that. Well, the first thing we're going to do is I'm not going to do it over here, okay? I'm going to do it over here, but I'm essentially doing the same thing. My first line is where I'm gonna be multiplying by the three, okay? So my first line, I'm multiplying by the three. So 14 times three, what I do is I do the four times the three first, and that gives me 12, but I can't put both numbers. I have to carry it over to the tens place. Let me move this up a moment. Okay, the program I'm using is Notability. Great program, by the way. Here we have the tens place, and here we have the ones place. So because we had 12, we had to carry that one, which is in the tens place, over to the next to the next unit, okay, to so the next digit. So now I have, I still have to do multiplying by three. I have one, okay, the next digit in 14, times three, well that's three, but I still have to add this one that I had before. So that's one times three is three, plus one is four. So that is my first column. Now, the second column, this always confuses students. What we're doing is we are doing 14 times 80. A lot of students think, oh, we're just doing 14 times eight, that's not the case. This is really an 80 there, okay? As you can see, 80 plus three equals 83. So that is an 80, not an eight, because eight plus three is just 11. It's not that, okay? So what is, yep, I have a low battery. I'm gonna try to finish this before. So we have 14 uh, times 80 now, so I'm gonna show that in blue. So here we have 14 times 80. Because it's 14 times 80, what I need to do is I need to, indicate that it's in the tens place by putting a zero first. Okay, so right now I'm doing the eight. In this row, I need to put a zero first. That lets me know that we're talking about the tens place. We're multiplying by 80. So now I can just go ahead and do four times eight. I do the first uh, digit times the eight. So the four times the eight, the ones place times the eight. And that gives me 32. This is where you'll need to have your times tables handy. And Notability is great for this type of work because I can change the color and keep track a little bit easier than I could before. So the three was in the tens place, I carry that over to the next. And now I have eight times one, that's right here, plus this three. So eight times one is eight, plus three is 11. We just talked about that. And I'm gonna write that whole number down because there's nothing else to carry it over to. So I can just write the whole number. Now, these lines are conveniently already placed here because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding now. So I need to add these columns together. Like I said, we're gonna do 14 times three plus 14 times 80, and then we're gonna add the two results together, and that will give our answer. That will be the same thing as multiplying by 83. So I'm just gonna add down here, so I do two times zero, and that gives me two. Did I say two times? I meant two plus. Then I have four plus two, that equals six. Then I have just the one and just the one, so my final answer is 1,162. It's really not that bad. You just have to follow the process each time, okay? Maybe let's get over, let's, let's just go in order here. So let's go over to the next one. I'm gonna use the same coloring system, so I'm gonna label this with a five, and I'm gonna start there. So I'm gonna do three times five first, that gives me 15, but I need to carry the one. And now I have nine times five, that's 45, plus one is 46. So I'm gonna write the whole number here because there's nothing else to carry over that force, that tens place over. So I'm just gonna leave it alone and write down the whole number. Now, the next column, keep in mind I'm multiplying by 60 here, not six, this is in the tens place. So I need a zero because the tens place has one zero. Okay, when you get into triple a digit, <laughs> triple digit multiplication, let's say three, if there's a three there, 365, there would be two zeros in the next column, okay? But that's not the case here, that's just a sneak peek in case you're one of those above and beyond students. So now I have six, I'm multiplying the same thing, three times six, 
That gives me 18. I'll put the 8 down, carry the 1. Now I have 9 times 6, that's 54, but I can't forget to add that 1. That's going to be 55. Now I go into the addition phase, and I probably should have put a plus sign over here. Plus, plus. I'm writing kind of small, but hopefully you guys are still uh, able to see this okay. So we have 5 plus 0, that gives me 5. 8 plus 6, that gives me 14. I'm going to carry the 1. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10. I need to put the 0 because I have another column to carry it over to. So I have 5 plus 1, and that gives me 6. So my final answer is 6,045. You'll notice with this one, look, there's no little line drawn here. So why could that be? Well, let's take a look here. Anytime you have a 0, this is actually great news for us. If you have a 0, watch what happens. You do 2 times 0, that's 0. And then 0 times 8, that gives me 0. So look, there's essentially nothing that happens there. You can go straight over to multiplying by the tens place, by the 60. Okay, So here we're multiplying by 60. We need to drop the 0 down. Okay, If you want to put the zeros from before, that's fine. But notice how I got rid of it because it's not needed. 0 plus anything is just going to be the same result. So I have... Zero here, plop down because I'm multiplying by the tens place. And now I'm ready to begin six times two. And that gives me 12, carry the one, and then eight times six, okay? And multiply the next digit over. Eight times six is 48, plus one is 49. And you'll see that I don't need to do any addition here because I was only multiplying by one of the digits in the bottom row, the six, because the zero essentially goes away, okay? Um, you can see there's another one of those right there. Um, 77 is actually fairly simple. Let me go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm going to do one more using the color system. And then for those that don't have different colors, I'm going to show you how to stay a little bit organized once we just have one color to work with. Because most of the time, sorry, that's supposed to be blue. Most of the time we're just working with pencil and paper and we don't have all these fancy colors to work with. But feel free to use the colors if you got them. Okay, so now I'm doing 7 times 1. That's 7. And then what's 1 times 7 again? It gets 7. Now we're going over to the 1, so I need to plop down the 0, that's in the tens place, and we have 1 times 7, 7, 1 times 7, 7. So I need to add here, I'm writing small, I'm not sure why I'm doing that. 7 plus 0 is 7, then we have 7 plus 7 again, that's going to be 14, carry the 1, and then I have 7 plus 1, that's 8. So I get 847 for that, but it was pretty quick multiplication. Let's do maybe two more. Okay, real fast here, I'm going to go to purple. I'm going to do this one over here. It doesn't matter if you have the big number on top or the bottom. As long as you have it organized, it should be the same thing. But if you have a, th a triple digit and a two digit, you should put the triple digit on top. It'll make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so now we have 4 times 3. I'm multiplying these ones first. Okay, 4 times 3, that gives me 12. Carry the 1, 3 times 2. That's the next one over. Plus the 1, that gives me 7. I need to plop down the 0 because I'm moving on to the 8. So I do 4 times 8, that's 32, carry the 3. And I like to put it over some, well, sometimes you can put it above, okay, whatever you like. If you want to put it over and you have enough room, most of the time you don't have enough room, that's why people go up. But if you don't have enough for up, the whole point is I want to differentiate. You can even cross it off when you're done with it. I want to differentiate that I'm not adding the 1 when I do 8 times um, 2, okay? I want to add that 3 because that's what I got from doing 8 times 4, so keep track of which numbers you're adding on after you're done with the multiplication of the digits. So I'm doing 8 times 2 here. That's 16. And I'm adding 3, not 1. That gives me 19. Now we need to add here. I get 2 plus 0 is 2. That's 7 plus 2 is 9. Another 9 and 1, 1,992. We're going to finish up 1 from the final row. Here's a 9. Maybe this one's a little bit more challenging for students. So we're going to do 7 times 6 first. That's 42. Care of the 4. 63 plus 4 is 67. I'm going to write the whole number down. Now I'm moving on to the 1. Don't forget, you have to put the 0. This number that you multiply here, okay, whenever you get to that second row, that second row always needs to be bigger. So if you get something smaller, you messed up. You done goofed. So we get 1 times 6, that gives me 6. 1 times 9, that gives me 9. I do have a bigger number in the second row. So I get 2, I get 13, carry the 1, I get 15, plus 1 is 16, and I'm done. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out more middle school math videos right here on this channel. Leave a comment if you need something specific covered. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.